to Hobo Sode number 240, which means this is a free edition. Every 10th Hobo Sode is free to the general public. This one's brought to you by Brennan. Thank you, Brennan, for being the sponsor of today's Hobo Sode. I'm your host, Brad, and I'm going to make some calls right now. Here we go. Hello? Hello, Terry? Yes? Hey there. Uh, this is Steve Dave. I'm with the City of... I was calling to let you know we're going to be, um, there's going to be a truck at your house tomorrow. They're going to be dumping a, a large pile of gravel in your front lawn. In and, my front lawn? Yes. And th- they'll put up some uh, tape around it so people know not to touch it. But, yeah, it's just going to be there for a while. Why? Uh, it's just, you know, they just need a place to put it. Come inside my fence and pour in my lawn. But, well, it's 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 just it's gravel. You know, it's it's just going to go on top of the lawn. On my and, lawn in my yard. Yes. And um, Why? they they should like maybe like a month tops. They just need a place to keep it for a little while. Inside my fence. Yes, ma'am. Why? Um, well, it's just because, you know, the pandemic and everything and, and things are all crazy here. We just need a place to store something for just a little while. The city so it, does. Yeah, the city. Of are you talking about the parking strip in front of my house? Oh, no, no, in the yard itself. Like, you're on North Street, right? Right. Yeah, yeah, we're just, it's just going to be a, a, it's not even going to be six feet tall. It's just a pile of gravel. I this is t- I, I do I don't understand this. How are you going to get it in my yard? Uh, they'll I don't know. They'll figure. We've got city trucks and everything. We've got every type of machinery imaginable. So is, is this related to some work on the street? Oh no, no. It's it's not related to anything exactly. It's just uh, they just need a place to keep it temporarily. It's just uh, no. Yeah, it's just for future future projects and stuff no yes it is no you can't do that i have dogs inside my fence oh yeah just ha- keep them in tomorrow like uh, they'll, they'll be done by noon i would think I, I, I no well they're gonna get hurt if you like we pour rocks on them or gravel me? They, they, they're gonna get hurt if we pour gravel on them they're going to get out if you open the gate to get in my yard to pour gravel in So it. keep them inside. Just, just till noon. I don't understand. Excuse. Karen, what's why, the... Why am I getting a, what's why the, am I getting a city of call from a um, 206 phone number? It's because uh, I'm working from home because of the pandemic. We, we have to d- just do what we can. Make calls from, from our own personal phones and stuff. Standard procedure to just dump stuff in private yards. Yeah, we've done it before plenty of times. It's just you know they're having like Never. an an audit and they they don't want the rocks to be there when the auditor comes. Just just for safety reasons. That's all. Uh, this will this is not going to work. How, like how many yards are you? No. Just yours. Well, yours and Mrs. Steumann, but Mrs. Steumann lives on the other side of town. So we're spreading it out. Why was, why, uh, no, you're going to have to find someone else. I, I'm oh, saying no. no to this. No, I'm not asking permission. I'm just letting you know. The, the city's just going to borrow your yard. It's it's not a big deal. They'll, they'll pick it all up, you know, within a month, and they'll remove the, the stakes and, and the, the police tape, I mean the caution tape. It's it's not a big deal. It's just going to be like right in the center of the yard. That's all. 
I have a, a teeny little front yard inside a gate. Yeah, well, don't don't lock the gate. Uh, if, We've got to be able to get in. Wheel, if, if this is a wheelbarrow full of something, I don't know. Oh, I, no. I need, oh, no. It's a dump truck. It's a dump truck. They're prob- I, I don't have... There's no space for a dump truck worth of anything in my yard. Yeah, no, they'll make it work. They might have to pile it up a little bit higher than than they might normally do. Because normally it would be like a less than six feet tall. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. I misread that. Eight foot tall pile here. So just make sure you keep your kids off it and everything. Don't let them be climbing up there and jumping off it and stuff. Um, and you can't, you can't use any of the rocks for your own personal projects. We need those back. I need... What's happening? To, What's all that noise? Uh, I'm give, digging in my purse to get a pen. Oh. So I can take, uh, I need to call a supervisor. A supervisor? Karen, what, what are you going to call supervisor for? Because this this is not going to work. There's not space in my, I, this is highly no, irregular. I'm telling you, it'll work. It's fine. Well, it's not fine. Do you want um, your yard to be buried in gravel? Oh, no. I, I live kind of like out on the outskirts of town. I don't think my yard would be a good contender for it. Well, mine isn't either. Well, no. Yours is fine. We've, we've checked out the maps and looked at street view and everything. It's Everything's fine for year lawn. We've got it all figured out. They're just going to keep it there for a month. I, it seems like you're getting a little bit out of shape over nothing. Tell me your name again. Uh, my name is Steve Dave. Steve Dave? Uh, no, Steve Dave. It's one word. Steve and then Dave, like D-A-V-E. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm just hearing the comp, comp troll. Or, I'm sorry, what? And that is your first and or last name? Uh, that's my first name, Steve Dave. And your last, and your last name? Gersberms. Spell, please. Ma'am, why? What are you doing? Like I don't understand the problem. We're just this is very unusual um, um, demand, and I want to call some kind of a supervisor. We we do this all the time. You're 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 making a big deal out of nothing. I don't. I don't. I know. So I don't do this all the time. Well, you're going to you're going to tomorrow. You're going to keep rocks in your yard. It's not a big deal. It's just a lawn. They will pick it up in a month. And you won't even be able to tell it was ever there. What if I had? What if I had my? What if I had some elaborate landscaping and that was going to be buried? Well, you don't. We checked. Nice try, though. And don't think about trying to do some elaborate landscaping tonight, just to keep us out, because we've already. It's, it's, uh, no, I'm trying to kill my front yard. This is probably going to help me out, but I'm just oh, saying welcome. this is an unusual. An unusual occurrence. Oh, well, so what department? This, is this the street department? Yeah, what are you getting upset about then? We'll, we'll keep it there for two months if you're trying to kill the lawn. You just seem very, seems very unusual. So, okay, what time are they coming tomorrow? Uh, probably between 8 and 9 in the morning. So just keep the dogs inside until noon. It'll be done by noon. The, well, if they're the, coming between 8 and 9, they better damn well be done by then. All right, thank you. Hey, don't curse at me, lady. Whoa, she got a nice little curse in there before she hung up on me. I accidentally called her Karen, and she didn't seem to notice. I think I called her Karen twice, uh, but I was wrong. That was Terry. I called her Terry at first, but then I started calling her Karen. Karen is the next lady on the list, and I just got overexcited because I thought a lady named Karen was asking for my supervisor and... It seems so perfect, but no, that was Terry, and Karen's probably not going to answer. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message. No Karen for us today. I tried her a couple times. I'm dialing off of Mongolian guys list again. This is the list of dog people, so they all have dogs, but I don't know the dog's names or anything like that. It's some kind of a dog training club. Hello? Hi, Deborah. Yeah. Hey, uh, th- this is Steve Dave from the post office. Oh, okay. Just wanted to let you know that I don't like you. What? What are you talking about? 
I'm just saying, I don't really like you. I'm not understanding what you're talking about. I'm just trying this new thing where I'm brutally honest with everybody. And I really feel like it's helped out my life a whole lot. And I'm calling up everyone I know and just let it work out. I was going to do the gravel thing, but as she picked up, I looked at her address and it's a apartment. And the next one, I guess I'll skip because it's a P.O. box. I just didn't have anything to say to her. Hello? Hi, Wendy. Uh-huh. Hi. Hey there. Uh, this is Steve Dave from the city of... Yep. And uh, I was calling to let you know we're going to have a truck there tomorrow morning. They're going to be dumping a, a pile of gravel on your front lawn. Wait, what? Just, just for storage. This? Uh, th- this is Steve Dave. I'm from the city of... From the comptroller's office. Are you... Uh, yeah, are, one sec. Are you talking about in front of... Um, well, it's at 98... Or where are you talking about? It's northeast... Lane... Why would you be putting dra- gravel in our driveway? I'm totally confused. Oh, not in the driveway on the on the lawn part. Is this a joke? Oh no, I wouldn't kid about this. It's just for storage. They're just going to have it there for about a month. You know, we're just running low on space with all the the COVID stuff happening. So we're just going to. You can't put it on our lawn. What are you talking? Are you talking about? Or are you talking about my personal place? Uh, the address I gave you, the lane. Yeah, that's a private residence. You have no right to that. Oh yes, we do. We're the city. We can do whatever we want. Uh, it's just going to be. It's going to be. There's no. What? Is this a joke? Uh, no, you already asked that, and I said no. Who, um, who is this? Uh, I've already told you. My name is Steve Dave. I'm with the city of. So tomorrow morning, okay, about second. eight I'm, eight or nine in the morning, the trucks no, are going to show up. One second, I'm calling what? over to talk to you. This makes no sense at all. This is our own lawn. Yeah, it's just it's just a in? it's just a pile of gravel. I think you guys are getting upset well, that's over that. On our lawn. What the hell? The entire lawn is landscape. What are you talking about? You they're are they're you gonna outside my street. They'll 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 pick it up like uh in in mid 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 uh June is when they're no. set. No, there there is no there, there was no flat space there. Everything is landscaped and gardened. Okay, and look, not, look, lady, I, lady. I would, like to, I would like. I am not a lady. I'm the. I'm the husband. There's like two of you screaming at me on the phone, and I was talking to the lady. No, Rightly so. Only I'm screaming at you, and I want to talk to Chris immediately. Uh, no, he's he's I, not I, here. I'm not working from my it. home. We're in the middle of a pandemic. But look, it's not a big deal. We're just going to be bringing the the it's, gravel by in the morning. Then put it in your put it in your yard. Don't yell at me, lady. I'm, I'm just. Oh, what, what's your, what was his name? This is a bunch of shit. I, I think this might be a joke. Sir, sir, you need no. you need to get that girl under control. No, fuck you, buddy. Fuck you. It's fuck what? you, fuck you, fuck you. Why asshole. would you say that to me? I just said you because need to... you're being a total. You're being a total shithead here, mister. This is our personal yard. I think it's a joke. You do not have an easement for anything other than lawn mowing, not storing a bulk material. Look, There's you nothing. You rent your, your property COVID from us. You rent your property from us and we can do what we want with it. I do it. not rent my property I do not I rent my property from you. You have the wrong place. Uh, I do not no, rent I've, anything from you. I have I've given, I have a clear title to the land. I've given that, that loud bitch in the background the address several times. That's where we're bringing the gravel. Oh, this is a joke. 9891. The city wouldn't talk to us like this. 9891. Hill. Correct, yes. And that lady doesn't know what she's talking about. You know, you, you guys are the ones that started it with the attitude. I was just calling to let you know. You're, would you you're, have an attitude if somebody said... If, and what were your last name It's, it's for the greater what? good. It's for the pandemic, you, you bunch of idiots. Oh, this is a joke. This has got to well, be... Well, have, have a great day, you fuckhead. <laughs> okay. That guy just called me a fuckhead. So I'm off of the dog list now. I tried everything in the dog list from Mongolian guy, but I think I've gotten just about everyone to answer from that list that's going to answer. I still have to go over it one last time and try all the numbers again, but now I am calling numbers from an old list of Reggie's that just happens to be in the same area. By the way, I'm once again using Distorted View's phone number, their voicemail line for these calls, 
So be sure to listen to Distorted View. You might hear these people call into the voicemail at the end of the show. He's usually a couple months behind in voicemails, so there's not going to be a payoff for this for probably at least a couple months. And I'll definitely let you all know if anything turns up, because I listen to every episode of Distorted View over at distortedview.com. It's a great podcast. Everyone should listen. And I'm mostly doing this just because that dog list just happens to be in Tim's area, close to it anyway, nearby area codes. Hello? Hi, Susan? Yes. Hey there, it's it's uh, Steve Dave. I'm with the city of... Okay. Uh, I was calling to let you know, tomorrow morning, uh, the trucks are going to be there at your house. They're going to be dropping off a large pile of gravel. At my house? Yes, just on the front lawn. Why, so, why are we doing that? Uh, it's just, you know, they need a place to put it for a little while. And you're going to put it on my front lawn? Yes, yes, just like right there in the front lawn, just there in the flat area around the trees. Around the um, trees. Uh, well, I don't suppose I have a whole lot of choice. What I have up there on the front, um, it's just south, really, of the mailbox yeah. is an area that's all bark and trees. And before that, I have, you know, if you fit it under the cedar before that, on the on the north side of the driveway, it would probably make me happier. Hmm. I don't know. We, do you do you actually use the garage? We could just dump it in your driveway because this is going to be a large pile. You ever seen those those piles of they're like ten feet tall of rocks? Well, I don't think there's room to put ten feet of rocks in my front oh, yard. Oh, we'll figure it out. You know, we might have to put like two smaller piles, like two small five foot piles of rocks. And how long will they be there? Uh, a couple months tops. A couple of months. Yeah, they're saying maybe June fifteenth around there. What what is the point of the where is it going eventually? Oh, uh, we don't know yet. Like uh we just got a surplus of rocks so we don't have anywhere to put it. So we're just going to it's just going to be like a pile of gravel. Uh, how how, did, how come our property was selected? I'm just trying to figure this out here. How come uh, our property was selected? We we've never uh asked you before to to store anything at your house, so it's pretty much just your turn at this point. Uh, well, whatever. There are there are places that you know it's a corner lot, and mm-hmm. the corner is, is roadway, and you know, wouldn't it bother me at all if you put it on the corner? <laughs> yeah, it might be ugly yeah. there though. You know, like the passing motorists would see it on the main road. <sighs> Whatever. So you're you're not asking me. You're telling me you're going to put this in the yard. Yeah, pretty much. Do you use that garage? Yes, we do. Oh, do you keep cars <laughs> in it? Two cars or, in the garage. Oh, okay. So it's just. All right, we'll have to put it over there on all the bark chips and around the trees and stuff. Don't worry, they'll they'll come and pick it up someday. You know, June or July. All right, whatever. Um, you know how you have the old timey car back there underneath a canopy type thing. Uh, in the front yard, I had a Volkswagen in the front yard. Oh, can we just? Is- not oh. there anymore, but I do have uh, collect two collector cars in my garage. Oh, okay. Can, can, oh, you don't use your garage as a garage then? You just use it to like just store a bunch of crap in? No, the collector cars are in the garage. We take them out and drive them and stuff. I see. Um, well, you know where that, that old-timey car used to be? We could just bring all the gravel down there and pile it up in the lawn. I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we, we could just stack it right next to the before. porch. How about next to the porch? Next to the porch. There's plants in there. Yeah, but yeah, you know. Yeah, you just uh, hear that you're going to bring it. Do you know when it's arriving? Uh, Tomorrow morning around 9 in the morning. Okay. I'm not going to be here, but my husband's going to be here. Maybe he and the people who are arriving with it can figure out a good place to put it. Oh, is he around right now? Yes. Oh, I'd love to Would just. Would like to talk to him? Yeah, is he going to get mad? <laughs> no, no, I am. Hang on. You don't sound very mad. Who is going to put a 15-foot pile of gravel in our yard? 15. On top of the bus, I just What? Oh, hello. <laughs> hello there. It's Steve Dave. I'm with the city of... Yeah, all right. I'm getting half of this story. Um, what, what do you mean half of it? Well, well Susie handed me the phone and said you're going to put some gravel in our yard. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's going to be like a large pile of gravel. We just need a place to store it for a little while. We'll why, the- are you, 
why on our yard? This all ours is we don't have a very big yard oh, in the front. No, you have a big yard. It's just you have a lot of crap in it. You know, like trees and bark chips and just junk. But yeah, we're just gonna put the gravel there, and we'll we'll come and pick it up probably like mid June. I'm just absolutely blown away that you're going to dump a bunch of gravel in my yard. Why are you blown away? Why would I be happy to have you dump a bunch of garbage in my yard? Well, you don't have to be happy, but it's not garbage, and it's not like there's not already garbage in your yard. You know, you got, like, just, just junk Please clear. stop. You, you can, let's get back to the subject. Don't tell me that my yard's a pile of junk. I don't well, need that. Don't, I know it isn't great. I'm an old guy, and I can't keep up with the maintenance. But don't call our gravel garbage, then. Well, but you're putting it in my property. What? what why this? Just, just for just for like a month, maybe, maybe two. Just don't be stealing the rocks, though, because you know those aren't for you. I don't want any rocks. We're gonna put we're gonna put um you know caution tape around them so nobody bothers them. Do you have a plan of where you're gonna put it in the yard? No, nah, we just have like a bunch of extra rocks. And they're doing an audit. We gotta we gotta hide the rocks just just till next month when they're all done counting everything with the city. Uh, I don't want you putting any rocks in my yard. Okay, well you know it'll just be for a month at least. I don't want any rocks in my yard. You have no right to put rocks in my yard. Oh yes, we do. You you rent you rent your property from us. We're the city. We're just, we just. I don't rent the property. I own the property. Yeah, but you know, you pay your rent to us every month, or you know, a couple times a year, or whatever it is. I don't pay rent to you. What well, are you talking? about? Well, we about? call it taxes. Property taxes. It, it's just, it's a little okay. Look, there's, there's this little trick we do, where. So you're telling me that you're hiding something illegal? No. By putting it on my property because. Somebody might count it in your inventory of stuff. No, That's you're misunderstanding. A... You seem to be a misunderstanding, too. I don't want you to put a pile of gravel in my yard. Well, why are you saying that our gravel's illegal? Because you just told me you were hiding something. There was an inventory being taken, and you were hiding it somewhere so people wouldn't see it. No, it's not like that. And you were going to hide it on my property. They, That's they... what you said. They already counted it. That's what it is. They counted it already. So now it's cool. Now we can just move it somewhere else. But you don't need to be advertising that you're you're holding gravel because we're we're gonna put caution tape around it and a tarp over it so nobody can see it. Please don't put anything on my property. Can we put it in your garage or something? No. Maybe come you on, you're being stupid now. No. No. No, I'm not. Like the pile. My, guard, it, my garage is full. It doesn't have any room for your gravel or anything else. What's it full of? This old crap? It's none of your business what it's full of. It's my garage. I bet you just got. And there's no room for gravel in my garage. I bet you just got a bunch of old cars in there, a bunch of old, ugly cars. What difference does that make? I don't know. Like, it just seems like a perfect place to keep it since you don't park your cars in there. And that way it's hidden. We don't have to put the tarp on it. If you show up tomorrow with gravel in my yard, I'm going to take some sort of action against the city or okay. you or whoever's talking here who I don't know. Okay. How about you send me, if you want to put gravel in my yard, you send me an official letter on official stationery. Okay. I'm going to do that. my permission oh, to no. put gravel in, your, in my yard. No, we don't need permission, but I'll, I'll send yes, you a letter. Yes, you do. It is my yard. I own the goddamn thing. If I send a letter out today, I bet you'll get there by Saturday. And, and that way you'll, you know, it'll just take an extra day because the, the gravel is going to be there tomorrow. That's fine. I've got lots of extra days. Okay. But the gravel's still going to arrive tomorrow. No. Yes. No. Yes. <laughs> I lost the argument. Their yard's not actually that bad. I'm exaggerating a little bit. It looks fine. The guy's all down on himself about not keeping up his lawn. Just got some knocked over bird baths and flower pots and stuff. That's all. Some sawhorses sitting out there in front of one of the classic cars. Hello? Hi, Janelle? Yeah. 
Hi, this is uh, Steve Dave from the city of. Yes. I was just calling to let you know the trucks are going to be there tomorrow to drop off gravel at your place. Oh, we have gravel coming? Uh, yeah, it's going to be like a large pile of gravel. They're just going to store it in your front lawn. Hang on. Oh, what are they going to be doing with the gravel? Uh, they don't know yet. You know, we just have some extra gravel laying around. We don't have anywhere to put it, really. <laughs> okay. So, All right. It's just going to be... That works. Do you want to talk to my, do you want to talk to my husband? Uh, sure. He's yeah. Right here. If, if that, yeah. Yeah, just a second. It'd be good if you talk to the man. Hello? Hello there. Uh, it's Steve Dave from the city of... Yeah? I was just calling to let you know that we're, the trucks are going to be there in the morning to drop off some gravel. Um, we're just going to be storing a little bit of... Where? Uh, just like right in your front yard. We're going to be storing just a little bit of gravel there in the front yard. I, who you, I, I don't have a front yard you can put gravel in. I don't know what... Well, you, you have the shrubbery there yeah. on, on the front, but, you know, behind it, there's a flat lawn. What? At, you sure you got the right place? Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, we're, we're just going to be storing gravel there till maybe mid-June. No, I don't think so. Oh. Not in my yard, you're not. Oh, no, we definitely are. They're gonna, the workmen are going to be there tomorrow. Um, like, if you have any dogs, if you could bring them inside... That'd be good. No, there's no workmen that are going to be at my house. Oh yes, they are. They're they're just dropping off the gravel. What house are you going to? Uh, it's a four zero place. I mean. Well, I'm sorry, but there's no nobody's talked to me. There's, I don't know anything about workmen. I don't know anything about gravel. I've not given anybody any permission to do any. Well, that's so, why I'm calling. I'm calling to let you know. What are you going to work on? Uh, we're, well, we're not working on anything. It's just we need a place to store the gravel for a while. It's a really large pile of gravel. It's going to be uh, over 10 feet. It's going to be between 10 and 12 feet. And where are you going to put it? I have laptop in front and a driveway, and I have a driveway in back, and the rest of the yard is fenced. So I don't understand oh, we'll where bring you think you're going to put beyond the fence. Yeah, we'll bring it inside the fence. It's fine. The we fence is my septic system, and it's it's manicured lawn. What are you talking about? Well, well, I, I don't think so. Sir, Who gave you permission to do that? You're sir, not putting any gravel in my, my property. Oh, yes, we are. It's going to be a large pile of gravel. It's just going to be for no, not, not even a month. No, you may not do that. I'll call the cops. You may not put gravel in my driveway. You may not put gravel on my property. But why not? It's not well, a big deal. What makes deal. you We're, think you can do that? We just need a place to store the gravel. Well, then we put it up on the corner. On between, no, don't don't on tell us what to do. We we have our reasons for wanting to put the gravel in your yard. So just, just well, you don't have permission to put it in my yard. Do not put it in my it's, yard. It's like an easement, okay? But it's just a temporary easement. I have no place for you to put gravel in my yard. No, there's plenty of space. We've been by already to to look at it and everything. There is like, no place that you are allowed to put gravel in my yard. There, I don't know what you're talking no, there's about. There's a flat area right in front. We're just going to stack the gravel there, and then by June 15th, it'll all be gone. A flat area. I have a driveway. I have asphalt in front. Yeah, but there's a yard, you know, beyond it. The yard is my septic system. Yeah, but it's just gravel. It's not going to hurt it. It's, it's on top. It's on the grass. It's fenced. Yeah, we we've got we've got equipment here. You know, we'll use tractors to like scoop it out of the truck and just drop it in the lawn. Uh, it's fine. You put it there. We, I'm calling the police. You have no sir, permission to put it there. I'm know, not in the city of. I'm in county. We know what we're so doing. You are not. I you do not know what you're doing because you are not allowed to do it. I am not giving you permission. Listen to do here. It. You need to you may not stop with the attitude. Store gravel in my yard. You may not store gravel in my yard. Well, what have you got to hide? In, what are you hiding in your yard that you're worried we're going to see? I'm hiding nice grass. I'm hiding my lawn. I'm hiding my septic system. It's not, I'm hiding. It's my private it's not that property. Nice. You may not put gravel in my yard. But it's not even that nice. We've seen the lawn. It's not very nice. Is this a joke? Yes. Yeah, yeah I'm, well, I'm calling, don't put it there. No, look, I'm calling from the radio station. You've just been butt, butt, butt slammed on the gerbil and the butt I show. I thought so.
Yeah, it was just a radio prank. You got butt slammed. Yeah, well, thank you, Steve Day. Are you relieved that, that we're not going to dump gravel on your lawn? <laughs> well, you know, the way you were talking there, it was clear you were not going to drop gravel in my yard, but I, you what? got me upset. Okay. Well, so, I'm glad. That was my goal. Yeah. So now we can... Yeah, well, congratulations. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> nice job. I hope you have a good night tonight. Thank you, Steve. And, and just think, when you wake up in the morning, you don't have to deal with the stress of dump trucks and tractors. Oh, I and forgot one more thing. What? I'm planning on mowing the lawn tomorrow. You can't put gravel in my yard. Okay, we won't. You convinced us. Okay, thank you. All right. I love you. See you. Bye. Bye. Holy shit, I got to butt slam somebody. That was great. I forgot to make him tell me who his favorite radio station was, though. Oh well. That seems like a good enough call to end this hobo sewed on, so thanks everybody for listening, and thank you Brennan for being the sponsor of today's show. If you enjoyed this show and you're not normally a supporter, then you should be a supporter, because it gets you an extra show every week called the Hobo Sodes. That's what you just listened to. And you can sign up for just $5 a month. It's at patreon.com slash phonelosers or phonelosers.com slash support for other ways to get the hobo sodes. Besides this one, there's another 239 hobo sodes out there for you to listen to as soon as you sign up. It's a pretty good deal, so please do that. Circle K, Pam speaking. Hello, Pam. It's Roy Zerbell. Yes. I'm calling you from the corporate cell. Okay. There's a problem you need to know. You may not store gravel in my yard.